بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دا سیکنڈ چیپٹر دیٹ از سیل ڈویژن اینڈ ہیئر وی ول ڈسکس دا ٹائپس آف سیل ڈویژن دیٹ از اباؤٹ مائٹوسز اینڈ میوسز سو بفور اسٹارٹنگ آف مائٹوسز یو شوڈ گیو آنسر ٹو سم کوشچنس یو نو دیٹ وی ہیو لرنڈ آل لیونگ تھنگس آر میڈ اپ آف سیلس اینڈ ان آڈر ٹو get a grow growth or in order to get a, an adult size from an infant to an adult a living organism or a human being needs more and more cells for the development so the question arises that from where these two new cells a human being or a living organism get from where the new cells are being formed and uh, the process of growth is being continued answer to this question is that new cells are produced by the division of pre-existing cells and uh, the division which happens in a human being or the living organism that division is called cell division so cell division is a process by which a parent cell divide into two daughter cells and the daughter cells which are produced they will be of the same number of chromosome they will be of the same nature as the parent cell are so here we are going to give a short description about that mitosis that what is mitosis mitosis you can say that it is a life cycle cell cycle or a division in which newly formed dna is separated and two new cells are formed with the same number and same kind of chromosome in other word you can say it is a process in which parent cell divides into two daughter cells with the same number of chromosome as in the parent cell so what are the function of mitosis why allah taala has made this process in the human being or in the other living organism like plants actually mitosis helps in the development of an organism from an infant till the adult size or till the mature age the process of development and the growth is carried out by the mitosis similarly if uh, the person gets an injury on his hand or a skin cells are being ruptured or damaged so the new cells which are formed the new healthy skin cells which are being formed and the damaged cells are replaced the process which are involved that is involved is called mitosis in other words we can say that uh, mitosis is directly responsible for the development or for the regeneration of the new cells for the regeneration of some body parts as well sometime a lizard is lost its uh, tail and after few months or after few time after few weeks it gets a new tail so from where the lizard gets the new tail rather it has lost the regeneration of the lizard's tail is due to the process of mitosis mitosis also maintains the constant number of chromosomes in all body cells of an organism here i have to tell that the human body is made up of a constant number of chromosomes that are 46 chromosomes similarly every living species either it is a plant or an animal it has a fixed number of chromosomes and the number of chromosomes remains same in the parent as well as in the new offspring so the mitosis is uh, the main process which maintains the constant number of chromosome if there are 46 in the mother and 46 in the father so male and female chromosomes they will get combined during the process of meiosis which we will discuss after mitosis and through the mitosis this 46 chromosome 
again maintained or retained in the new living organism in the new offspring before the explanation of the process here i have given a diagram or a depiction through which you can know that uh, the mitosis process can be divided into following phases number 1 interphase number 2 prophase number 3 metaphase number 4 anaphase number 5 telophase although the phases uh, name are not given in uh, your book in your reading book but actually it will help you a lot in order to remember that what were the phases or what were the functions which you have read before attempting in the paper so here is a general generally diagram let's discuss the explanation mitosis can be divided into five phases as shown in the diagram in the figure but an additional phase also is there that is known as cytokinesis cytokinesis actually it is a division of the cytoplasm that occurs after the four division of the mitosis at the end of the mitosis so let's discuss interphase interphase is a stage in which genetic material of a cell increases that starts when a cell enters into the mitosis we can say that interphase is just like that phase that you can consider this phase as a preparation before an event let's take an example in order to go in order to attend a function you know that you have to do some preparation you have to make some preparation similarly cell before entering into the mitosis it undergoes a preparation phase that is called interphase and in which chromosomes which are present in the nucleus of a living organism in a living cell those chromosomes are just like in a thread like material but when a cell is being entered into the mitosis the thread like chromosomes which were we which can be called as chromatin material these chromosomes they get doubled they get thick and uh, they prepare the copies of its own so every chromatin every thread like material it gets doubled and duplicate itself duplication you can say that it prepare the same copies of its own kind so after interphase when a chromosome has been formed from the chromatin material which was in the nucleus before the mitosis and the chromatin material was in the thread like structure now these thread like structure have become duplicated and they are now considered as chromosome as shown in the figure you can observe that chromosome has two arms and the two arms uh, are get connected or get joined at one common point that is called centromere so one strand is called chromatin and the second strand is also called chromatin the two chromatins they got attached at one common point that is called centromere when chromatin material duplicated and chromosomes have been formed during this phase during this phenomena nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane also breaks down and uh, centrioles which allah taala has made in a human being cell or in a living cell those are just meant to be for the purpose of spindle formation and two centrioles are present in the human cell in every human cell what are spindles spindles are actually you can say the protein material thread like structures and which will be hang down or which will be extend protrude out extend out from each pole towards the center of the cell here you can see these spindles and uh, in this phase this is the meta phase in this phase actually chromosomes they are going to attach 
with the spindles. Here the spindles have been mentioned through the dotted lines which are extending from the poles towards the center of the cells. So metaphase, the chromosomes, they get a line in the center or in the middle of the cell that is also called equatorial plate. Each spindle from both poles is get attached with the centromere of each chromosome. The spindles are made up of proteins and these spindles have been produced out or have been initiated by the centrioles or centrosomes. After that phase, now there is an anaphase. Anaphase, you can say that in this phase, every chromosome which was previously attached with the each spindle and the point of attachment was centromere. Now in this phase, anaphase, chromosomes are going to be separate from each other. And the separated form or the separate chromosome will be considered as a daughter chromosome or daughter chromatin. And every chromosome which is being separated from each other, it will also have a divided centromere. And along with the divided centromere, the chromosome will move towards the opposite pole because the degradation of uh, spindles or the proteins will be started. By the degradation of the spindle fibers, chromosomes, each set starts to move towards the opposite poles. And uh, every set, every chromosome set separately move towards the pole. When they reach over there, they are considered the two sets of chromosomes. So after the anaphase, cytokinesis starts. Cytokinesis starts with the division of the cytoplasm. As in the diagram, you can see that there is a shallow groove or a deep channel that is rising in the middle of the cell and it is going to be deepens further inside the cell. As this groove or this furrow or this cleavage or channel arises in the center, this channel starts to divide the cytoplasm from the middle or in the center of the cell. This groove or this channel deepens further and divides the cytoplasm into two halves, into two daughter cells containing a nucleus in each daughter cell. So with the division of the cytoplasm, the daughter cell is going to be separate from each other and each will behave an individual daughter cell in the last phase, that is the telophase. During the telophase, the daughter chromosomes or the daughter chromatins which are being separated now, they are distributed equally into the two daughter cells or into the two daughter nuclei. As division of cytoplasm is completed, the nuclear membrane starts to form again or reform itself around each daughter nuclei. It means that we have started mitosis from the two chromatin or the two chromosomes, two chromosomes in the parent cell and at the end of the telophase or at the end of the chromosomes, here from one parent cell, we, have, we are having two daughter cells, but the number of chromosomes which were in the parent cell, the two chromosomes we have mentioned the diagram in the parent cell. Now again we are having the two chromosome in each daughter cell but the difference is that one parent cell has been divided into two daughter cells with the same chromosome with the same number and the same kind of chromosome. So this is the way that how a person gets its growth, its development and how the old cells are replaced by the new cells how the damaged cells are being healed and being replaced by the new healthy cells and how the animals or some living organisms 
they regain or they regenerate their lost body parts by the process of mitosis for example common example is lizard if a lizard has lost its tail it can be regained by the process of mitosis an infant child grows and reach to its adult age by the process of mitosis and the number of chromosome is remain same in all the body cell during the whole life by the process that is called mitosis so it's all about mitosis thank you